Uh, we're live. Hello, everybody. We're live. I'm and back. Early. Look who's back, y'all. Yeah. That's my boy right there. I got new props. Hey, Mr. <laughs> Joe. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing here. If I seem all spacey. Right. It's not me. It's the medicine. <laughs> I know it's kind of dark, but I can't reach the light switch with my crutches. It's okay. All Don't right. worry about it. Uh, I, well, Don't I, worry about it. We love you. Thanks, everybody. We love you. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fuss at you. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell the story real quick. Okay. Now All I right. wish it was a lot cooler story. I wish I was like cliff diving and like something happened and I saved a baby turtle or like a baby dolphin, <laughs> but that's not quite what happened. I dropped my keys. I was spinning my keys, you know. Uh -huh. You know those two little things you like tell your kids, don't do that, dumbass. You're gonna throw your oh, sorry, 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 don't do that because you're gonna throw your keys across the room or you're gonna drop them or something. Well, I dropped right. them down through the patio, you know, oh. the wooden patio. Well, underneath okay. the wooden patio, there's like a cliff <laughs> to get to it, and then a yeah, and it's loose oh. dirt under there because they just did a bunch of work on it, you know. Mm. And it used to be all grass and like, you know, vines and stuff. Well, that's all gone because it was, you know, and I, I slipped. I mean, it's really not a great story, but there was a cliff there. There's a, there's a cliff edge, you know what I mean? But it's not like a big hundred foot, you know, it's not a big old thing. And my landing, I landed good. You landed uh, good. Uh, except my knee didn't, it went. Hey, as I long as you landed one way, good. Went the other way or something, I don't know. But well, see, yeah. I thought you a wonderful right. story, but it's my bad knee, and I've done it. This is about the fourth time now. <laughs> well, I just personally thought you were mining Bitcoin, and well, I know. was. That's how I got hurt. But I'll tell that story tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to mine Bitcoin. Oh, I fell off the cliff. <laughs> like, what were you doing under the porch? Oh, what were you doing under the porch? I yeah. dropped my Bitcoin. Yeah. Hey, Pam. I could have dropped my card though. I guess. Yeah. yeah, well, it's all good. Yeah. Hey, Kathy Mustafa. I talked to the guy at um at, at one of the stores, and I was getting I don't know, I was getting Red Bull or something. And um, and in fact, you know, I smoke, so you know. And I was like, "Well, hey, man, you guys all stay taking start taking Bitcoin." He's like, "Oh no, I'm not just blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? It, crap and all that." So I was like, gave him my card. I was like, "You really did just take Bitcoin? I hope you know that." He's like, <laughs> "Is it going to show up as cash?" I was like. Yeah, in your account, it'll show up as cash, but it's real. You just accepted it, actually. <laughs> yep. <know? laughs> hey, Joe, that, yeah. that leads us into the first thing we want to talk about on our show today, Oh, you know. which is don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, don't so sweat small stuff. You got crutches. It's all small yeah. stuff, bro. Don't worry about it. We'll yep. just keep going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just keep the old knee wrapped. We'll be in good shape. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you something. Um, speaking of that Bitcoin that you were just talking about, and then yeah. we'll go on to our next uh, topic. But, you know, you were talking to that guy about the Bitcoin. And yeah. <clears throat> I know that um, your bar there in Eureka Springs is mm -hmm. the first business in Eureka Springs to set up for mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin. That's so um, what I was going to ask you was uh, one of our one of our people, mm -hmm. one of our core people, yeah. Um, excuse me, is in Washington. I don't know if you saw the video because you've been down for a couple of days, medicated. Yeah. I but really um, there's a there's a, a phone store. Okay. Oh, that yeah. The, the Yakima and, store? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In Washington. Yeah, I saw Will that. and them it's got moving. the coin me put in. Yeah. Yep, they did. I was, it's a phone I was store? watching that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching that and I was going, oh, my God. We need to get Joe a coin me ATM for his bar. No, we need to get Joe some money so he can become his own exchange in Arkansas. <laughs> hey, well, you got to get him used to something first, okay? So, well, you know. Well, yeah, those things are awful heavy. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not either. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I guess we could. Yeah, I can do that. I can get you one. Know, I, there's one in Little Rock. Though. Hey, I found one in Little Rock, actually. Really? It's in the biggest building in Simmons Bank. It's the biggest building in Little Rock, and it's in the lobby in a gift shop. Nah. -uh. But, yeah, they put it next to the lottery ticket machine, and I was like, really? Mm, I just figured out but nobody. Bad. But there's only one other company that I found that accepts Bitcoin, so mm. I don't really know what 
I mean, I mean, I used to just well, think about it. Here was my here was my thought process. So yeah. walk with me for a second. Okay. You're in your right. Rika's crew. Yeah. Crutches you can like. hobble. <laughs> hobble with me. Come on. Yeah. Hobble with yeah. me. All right, so you're in Eureka Springs, right? And so yeah. you're one of the busiest tourist attractions, you know, in the in the middle of the country, really. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, that's hot springs. And you know, your traffic yeah. is huge. Yeah. So this is my thought process, okay? And I can't speak mm -hmm. for anybody else, but when I go on vacation, I'm a lot looser with my money. I'm a lot. Right. I don't watch it as much, you know, I want to have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, if I want to go for a steak, I go for steak. And, you know, if I want to do surf and turf, you know, yeah. the things you don't do when you're living everyday life. Right. Exactly. And so my thought process was, you know, if Joe had one of those in his bar yeah. um, and it's in a tourist place, mm -hmm. how many of the tourists would have extra cash in their pocket to turn into Bitcoin? Probably a lot of them just to try it. Just a thought process, you know? And it was just something that I walked through in my head. I know it's dangerous. No, it's not. <laughs> not walking there is dangerous. Yeah. Oh, in your head or around here? In my head. In my around head. Around here, too. All places. <laughs> you know, it's really good. I actually did. Someone said <coughs> the other day, um, I was talking to him about cryptogenics, and they were just kind of like, no. <laughs> just, you know, some people are just, no. <laughs> just, I'm like, lucky card? <laughs> no. I'm like, lucky card? No. 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 It's like, but if you want, I'll get some Bitcoin. You can sell me some Bitcoin and I'll use it in your bar. And I was like, okay, I, I'm working on that. But, but I was like, oh, oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Well, you know, it, it's a funny balance on this one because, you know, we're trying to, we're promoting the education, you know, as a business, we're promoting education, but we're also just promoting education too. And then on the other hand, I'm taking it in a brick and mortar business. Right. You know, and trying to do other things. You know, and here's, so, here's another thing to that, you know, um, I, my phone has been blowing up all day long. I have mm -hmm. run my ear pod down four times today since this morning, Dang. which is a good thing. It's a great problem to have. I'm not complaining. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, I know that knee's hurting. Be careful. Ah, uh, my whole foot just cramped up too. Ow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I'm here. Just let me cry for a minute. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to talk while you cry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a pill. <laughs> so here's the thing that um, you know. Here's here's what I've been talking to people about, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's real simple. They're saying, well, you know, I I I talk to people, right? And mm -hmm. people are interested, and but then they don't they don't see the value. And I'm like, okay, what do you mean they don't see the value in the education? And they're like, no, they see the value in the education part. What they don't understand is that you know, most companies, you have to pay something every month. You know, you got to order right. something. There's something to order. Mm -hmm. And with you guys, there's nothing to order. Like once you order yeah. the education, you're done. Right. I'm like, okay, well, isn't that a good thing? I mean, that's a yeah. great business. You don't have to restore it, replenish it, restock it. Well, I, sorry, the glare is killing me on my glasses. Um, That, that kind of leads me into something too. It's, it's, it's a multiple topic, and we talked about this a lot. This is kind of the reason why with our group, you know, with Crypto Nights and Cryptocation, and Crypto, hey, what are you doing? And, you know, all the different things we do um, that we're so inviting to people because we want to keep people involved. Mm -hmm. And since there's not like that monthly or that every few weeks you got to buy more product, I, we don't want people to fall out of involvement. You right. Know? Like, we don't want people to just, you know, get the education and then, okay, so you you know what right. I mean? Or whatever. That's not, that's not what we, we really want to do. Like, cause we know it's ongoing. Everything's changing every day, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I know you and I both try to reach out and talk to people. And, you know, I was talking to somebody last night from Nigeria, you know, right. and it's a guy that just happens to be on one of the sites and, you know, he's not in a place right now where he wants to do anything. It was like, Hey man, keep up with it. You know, whatever right. we can teach you about, you know, we'll be more than happy to tell you. It's like, I can't open up the education package for you for, for nothing. You know what I mean? Right. But I can give you a lot of pointers and there's a lot of free pointers just on the website, you know, just when you go to it. So I gave him all the little links and he's like, oh, I've seen it before and this, that, and the other. But I mean, I probably had a 30 minute texting conversation with him, you know, right. and he's a real nice guy, you know, and he was explaining how, how much like fraud there's been in Nigeria, you know, and I was like, Nigeria, that's our fourth largest contingent right now. 
Yep. You know, as far as around the world, if anywhere, you know, I mean, that's crazy, you know, but it's because we have a solid product that's, we're not out to scam. We're not trying to scam. That's not anything. I I don't know how we would, honestly. Exactly. I mean, I I can't figure, I can't figure out a way to scam anybody even (laughs) if I wanted to. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about this from other people's angles. Yeah, I got you. But I personally, I, I, I don't see, I don't see where you see the scam where you could see anything in it. You know, it's like, hey, we're just giving you education. Right. That's it. I mean, that is it. You know, I'm not right. saying, hey, go do this or hey, go do that. Or, hey, give me your money so I can do something with it. I don't want to be responsible for your money. Well, you know? we're not financial advisors. So not we would never do that anyway. You know, you know? I mean, I'm really not. I mean, I'm complaining about things that are out there to you that I don't agree with. You know what I mean? Like, why do you need $124 worth of four cent coin? <laughs> you know well, what I'm and, saying? And, then, and I'm not saying $124 is a whole, whole lot of money, but, but it's a whole hell of a lot more than 50, you know, right? you know, and, and, and I'm so, like, well, why do you need that? Like, well, I'm glad you're trying to be, you, you got your ICO going, but why you gotta have such a big buy-in, you know? And, and I'm real big on the whole, like, if you're going to say, Hey, this is for everybody. It's for the people and blah, 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 blah. Then let it be. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? You're like stand behind your conviction on that one. You know, exactly. I'm not talking about our company. I'm talking about something else. You know what I mean? Right. And it's a whole nother platform. And I understand, I, I, you know, people out there, they're still, if they haven't gone through the, uh, got to, you know, gone through all the training and stuff, they probably don't know a lot about, you know, what the ICOs really are, you know, right. like that. Um, I've got a pretty good understanding of it, but I've also done pretty extensive research on it, on it. You know what I mean? Just to make sure I knew. You know what I mean? And I well, read let's, this. Let's app. pause here for a second. Well, text ruling this is what I was getting to. Yeah. Let's pause <laughs> yeah. here for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pause here for a second. And and that that rolls right into two things. Tech yeah. is ruling us. Absolutely. Yeah. It is. Um, and and then, you know, how is it ruling us? Well, we go to use it and it doesn't work correctly. Right. Um, you know, and a lot of people will say, well, he can't even work a, you know, a zoom room or he can't do a three-way call or I can't get a big you know, pay, pay, pay card. You know, I, he can't, he can't <laughs> swap back over from one person to another when he answers calls. Well, right. guess what? You know what? It's yeah. technology. I can't, yeah. you know, eh, yeah. you just roll with it. Right. But well, yeah. what you were talking about is, is the ICO thing. And so for just for the lay person out there, not that we're giving any advice, I just want to kind of lay a roadmap out. Um, when you hear the word ICO, there's things that have happened prior to that. So mm-hmm. what happens first? Um, first, there's an idea. There's an idea. And there's some white paper. Yep. And you come, up with, um, you come up with the idea and the business model plan that you want to present to the world. Right. And then <clears throat> you get – you you – you employ, for the lack of a better word, you employ miners, okay? Mm -hmm. You employ miners to start mining the coin, all right? Now, all of this has to be in place and done before you can go to ICO, okay? So, because once it goes to an ICO, where did the coins come from? They had to be mined, so the mining has to happen before the ICO process. Then the ICO process happens, and then what happens? It goes to an exchange, Mm -hmm. okay? And so when it goes to an exchange, then you can buy and sell it, trade it, short it, daily it, whatever you want to do with it, turn it into Bitcoin. It doesn't matter. But that's kind of the the walking process, okay? And so most people don't realize that there's a whole lot of stuff going on behind the scenes before you actually get to the ICO phase, right? That's true. You know, Joe, tech is ruling us simply because, you know, the faster our thought process, the faster faster the tech has to get. I know. (laughs) It's great. I mean, it's leaps and bounds. Uh, Every day you can read something new, you know, and you're going, well, wait a second. You know, you and I were asking some questions, you know, asking each other back and forth, firing off about, let's say, the mining rigs, for instance. Right. Or about, let's say, you know, let's let's say I went to Best Buy the other day. Okay, and I bought a thousand dollar computer. So right. I thought, hey, I'm getting this thing because it's gonna be awesome forever and I'm never gonna need anything else. Okay, yeah. well, probably from what I use it for for most of it, 
yeah, it, it's going to work for me for probably about four or five years, I would say. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But now, does, that doesn't mean there's not something out right now or in six months that smokes it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And in six months, it's going to cost $500, not 1000 because that new exactly. model is just boom. You know, mm-hmm. and I, I didn't know, like when I was shop, I'm real weird about shopping, like for big stuff. You know, like you no, not you. Well, I mean, I'll just go buy crap. You know what I mean? Like I love the Dollar Tree. It's my favorite store in the world. I can't believe I don't have stock in Family Dollar. To be honest with you, I should. Uh, I just don't know how to buy it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have an education platform for that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you know. All we are really is a cooking show with recipes for cryptocurrency. Right. That's, That's it. it guys. That's it's real <laughs> simple. Hey, what, what is Bitcoin? It's money. It's money. <laughs> it's, we're really good at breaking this down. It's like, yeah, once you get that on that card and spend it, it's just money. It's like, just no, money. no bells go off. You don't, you, I, it's just like spending money. It still gets out of, it moves out of your account. Your account balance mm-hmm. goes down. It's, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I forgot what I was talking about. Sorry. It's all good, bro. I dropped my it, magic hand. It it is exactly what you say it is. It yeah. it becomes obsolete quickly, yeah. not necessarily to the mass public, right. because the mass public doesn't necessarily move as quickly as tech does. Right. But you know, at the end of the right. day, six months is a long time for for you know technology to be the premier technology. Yeah, it truly is. And yeah, you know, it's kind of you know, like on certain things like um well, with computers or GPUs, actually, is what they're called. It's a graphics processing unit. And that's what a mining rig actually is. You know, mm-hmm. um, it requires so much to run, so much internet, just, I mean, incredible bandwidth to run it at an efficient level to where it mm-hmm. does become um, profitable, I guess you'd say. Well, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, nobody's buying a miner, nobody buys a mine to feed the children. It's to make money. You can feed the children with money, but baby shorty can't eat no books. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> shorty can't eat no books. <laughs> no books. Well, but, you know, and that's kind just, of funny that you said that because this morning you and I were talking about these new these new miners. That's right. That our company, Cryptogenic, yeah. has. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, for those people that don't know, there's there's going to be a huge huge call tonight. So everybody right. will be talking about miners tomorrow and crypto. Right. Can you see that? Um, everybody. Company will be call nine Eastern tonight. Do you want me to write the Zoom address on there? You can if you like. I, so I, for, I forget which one it is. KGXglobal.club. Oh, just global.com. Okay. I always go in my KGXglobal.com thing. KGXglobal.club. Club. club. Is it um, club or dot info or dot? No, it's club. Dot club. club. It's, yep. okay. it's on my channel. Oh, it's on yours. Okay. So, you know, we're going to we're going to be giving a lot of information out tonight. But basically the nuts and bolts for those people that, you know, kind of are curious to know as to whether they want to get out tonight and do this. That's dot um, club down there. Sorry, right. Dot there. club. That's right. kgxglobal.club. So, we are launching a premier product for cryptogenic. Yep. And we are we are I can't say a whole lot, but I'll say we're doing green mining. Three words. <laughs> green, green mining. Mining. <laughs> no. <laughs> green mining. Oh, Lord. Uh, so <laughs> at the end of the day. Did you somehow sneak in to buy pain medicine? <laughs> no, I just got derailed listening to hey, you. Hey, guys, sorry about my attire. I'm kind of a. Yeah, I don't know. It's hot. I just got derailed listening to you. You're it, number see, one. What it is, You're is, number one. Sorry. is Joe is extra hot today because <laughs> he's, you know, taking that medication and that medication's running his blood pressure up. Kind of is. Mm-hmm. So it's three words. It's green energy mining. Green okay? energy mining. Okay. Green energy mining. And what's yeah. even better about those three words is USA based. That's right. USA based. So Joe and I were talking about it today. And, you know, we were talking because we're hosting. Hey, Joe. 
<laughs> we we're hosting the big call tonight and you know we wanted to make sure that we were comparing notes and that we had questions written down for the panelists and all this because we have a lineup of panelists and you know we want to be prepared we want to be very professional and get the word out and get it from the horse's mouth so to speak right. and so <clears throat> we were talking about these miners and the crazy thing about these miners, and, and this is the only thing that we're going to tell you without you coming tonight, and there's a lot of information, trust me. But the one thing that I will tell you is, aside from their green, you can have it delivered to your home. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah. You, you know, mm -hmm. you, can, you, you can have it delivered to your house. Now, you know, but what you I want as much people- Bandwidth as a hospital uses. <laughs> what I want people to understand is that these are, these are, okay, they're created, these GPUs are created to work in tandem with others, mm -hmm. okay, in an environment that is kept at a certain temperature control, okay, so mm -hmm. that you get maximum efficiency out of these units. Right. Now, can you take it home? Sure you can. You can have it delivered to the house. You bought it, you own it, it's yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will it perform better in the environment for which the, it was designed? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Um, and that's all we're going to say about that. But, you know, it, it, again, it's the technology rules us. Okay. One thing is, it's kind of like this. Have, have you ever driven a Porsche? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Okay, you know how like a Porsche runs terrible unless you're like on the highway. Well, they don't run terrible, but they're not. They're not they're particularly not comfortable. To around they're that. not comfortable. They're not fun in first and second gear unless you're taking off. You know, what I mean, just to bounce around town. I don't care if it's a 911, a 914, a 944, or 986. Now they got the 918. They got that. That replaced the 911. Anyways, my point is these things are rock stars. They're 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 supercars. You know what I mean? They're not good for in-town driving. I mean, that's not, if all you're going to do. Wide open highways. Yeah, brother. you need to be out on the highway. You need to be cornering. You need, you know, certain things are built for certain things. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, they test this stuff. It, if there was a Nuremberg ring, like you test cars on for these GPU units, that's where they would have tested this thing. But that's where it's being put. You know, they're yeah. designed for a certain environment and that's where they're going. Now, when you take it and you put it in city traffic, it's not really the best thing in the world. You know what I mean? Right. You'd rather have your Prius, you know? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But so I, I don't know. I, I, that was a good I'm analogy. not trying to talk anybody out of doing anything. You know what I mean? But I'm saying no, if you want no, the no. optimal just, thing, I don't want anybody to be an unhappy customer. You know what I mean? Right. Well, we're, we're just putting things on a scale. I, I can stream awesome. Netflix. Why can't I run this thing? <laughs> and you're like, well, because, um, well, it's a little bit different. Right. You know, it's, and your analogy with the Porsche was excellent. Thank Bravo you. to you. That's Thank really you. good. Um, because you're you're dead on. You're exactly where we need to be. And you know, like Joe said, we're not trying to talk anybody into or out of anything. No. Our 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 ultimate goal is to provide information and you be able to make an educated decision. That's all. Yeah. So, you know, we're not we're definitely not trying to talk anybody into or out of anything. Now, what we are trying to do is give you enough information that you understand how this thing was designed and how it is supposed to work. So, um, uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's that. So the next thing that I forgot we to had put on the our comments list up. today. Sorry. That's okay. Um, Hi, the, next thing, <laughs> the next thing that we wanted to talk about today mm -hmm. is uh, really, really intense. I think a lot of people will get, get a lot out of this. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I actually have my Facebook page up and open too, behind the, the camera here. And I asked this very same question. And what we wanna talk about is why do so many people fail in network marketing? Well, I asked this question on my Facebook page as well, um, about an hour ago now. And so it's getting quite a few, it's getting quite a few people's attention and it's getting some activity. Um, and a lot of these people, you know, I'm seeing lack of discipline, lack of systems, lack of leadership, uh, get rich quick mentality, um, manipulative techniques, taught to attract signups. Yeah, I agree. Too much hype, uh, 
Lana says, Alana says they give up, negative attitude, um, not determined enough. They don't know their why. Um, my cousin Bill Hank says he hates sales. He's steered away from it during his 40 year career. Most promoters are so pushy and end up making their non conforming subject feel inferior or a loser if they don't jump in. That That is really, you know, I, I, I have, I got some words for that, but I can't share them here. Sorry. Um, but you're right, cousin. Uh, Ty Tribble says, can you name one person who gave network marketing their best effort for five years and didn't make money? I can't. And, you know, um, I want to kind of pause right there for a second and talk about that one comment. Uh, and, and I'm reading these comments for the first time, by the way, so I didn't plan to stop on Ty Tribbles, but thank you, Ty, for giving me a pause. Um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to get across here today is everybody says, oh, well, you know, network marketing, direct sales, it's a get rich quick. It's a get rich quick. It's a get rich quick. So they, they want to, I'm air quoting here, if you are not watching, you're just listening, but they want to give it that get rich quick mentality and kind of try to put it in a negative perspective what i need you to understand what you have to understand about direct sales and direct marketing is this if you give it a hundred percent if you give it a hundred percent for five years you just cut off 35 years in the real world 35 years because you think about what we're taught in school, what we're taught from kids up. We got to go to school, get good grades. And then for some of us, they want us to go to college. For some of us, they tell us to go to tech school, but they tell us to get more education regardless. And then they tell us we got to get a good job and we got to work that job for 40 years. Aloha, Jeremy. Hey, Jeff. Um, you know, 40 years is a long time, guys. And I'm here to tell you, most people can't stop at the end of 40 years. They got to go 50, 55, 60 even, okay? Yeah. Now, if you look at network marketing or direct sales and you look at five years, is that not, and, and I say this with, with much love, is that not really uh, financial freedom fast? I'm not calling it get rich quick. It's financial freedom fast, right? It's really fast. Think how many raises. Look at it like this. How many times would you get a raise in five years if you got one hardly? I right. mean, usually when you get a raise, you know, when I was younger, I was a machinist. And so like when I'd get raises is because I just completed a course at a tech school or something. And so I really became something different. You know, I mean, instead of a button pusher, all of a sudden now I can write programs, you know, to make the machine do what it does. You know, it's not like computer programming at all. It's completely different. But, um, you know, and then, yeah, you'll get three, four, an hour dollar raise. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was 18, making, you know, 19, 20, something like that. You know what I mean? Making really good money. But I became obsolete because I was no longer needed because the machines that came out did it for you. Right. You know what I mean? And all the old guys, I learned how to do it like all the old guys did. You know what I mean? So I'd go into a new job and be like, I don't know how to do this. And like, no, it's simple. Right. You have to know how to do it. You know, but no, man, the, the, the tech outran me. Is what it was and me being able to sit down and do all of it the hard way with a calculator and a you know piece of paper and a pencil you know and a calculator and doing the calculus and all that stuff and trig you didn't need to know how you know it's like well i have a lot of useless knowledge i mean and really a lot of that stuff if you don't use it if you're not in certain industries you don't use math certain math at all right you really don't um, so i don't know i'm kind of lost <laughs> it's, it's all good i got lost but you're, not gonna, right in. you're not gonna in five years you're probably maybe gonna get two raises you know what i mean yeah, and they're probably exactly. gonna be about a dollar or two at the most mm -hmm. you know what i mean because i mean when you get a raise at a job you get like a nickel or a dime or a quarter raise a quarter raise is a big raise mm -hmm. you know what i mean and mm -hmm. if you look at something you know you're not making i don't even know what minimum wage is anymore right now it, it's about eight bucks an hour i think you know I, mean? I don't know. I have a brick and mortar business. I have no idea. I don't, I don't pay minimum wage. I don't have to. You know what I mean, cause I have, everybody gets tips, you know, so it's kind of different, you know? Um, but I, I want to say it's like seven fifty. but I remember living on seven fifty an hour, you know what I mean? But that's back when minimum wage was four thirty five. You know? Right. That was, so, you know, that was a different time. Way different. And, yeah. you know, Joe, you, you're, 
you're again, you're you're dead on with your analogy and being phased out by the technology. Yeah. And, you know, the next comment is kind of ironic because Ty said, you know, the five years and you would make yeah. money. Right. And then yeah. the next comment is from Cheryl Cocola. I think I said that right. And she says, because they will get rich in 30 days, realizing that it takes work and sacrifice to make a big money and most of not willing to put in the work. They want a free ride to the bank, so they quit. You know, yeah. it's ironic because that's what we were speaking to about yeah. Ty's post, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, because, because people use the analogy, five years compared to 40 is fast, y'all. It's yeah. fast, but it's not yeah. 30 days fast, and people take mm -hmm. it out of tech. They take it out of contact. Right. And then the next thing you know, you know, they think that to get rich, all they got to do is sign up. Like I signed up. Why didn't I make a million dollars? I signed up, Joe. I signed up. Where's my million dollars? It doesn't do that. I don't know. I signed you know? up too. <laughs> so, you know, Sorry. I'm not going to read any more of the comments. There are more. Um, I think I'm kind of done with. with I'm the not comments, really getting but, them. Last one I got you know, here was Jeff saying, hey. Oh that, no, these are comments on these are not on our live. These are on my actual oh. Facebook page on that comment. Well, you could have told me that. I've been sitting here learning about it. Oh, sorry. I'm stressing. Don't stress. It's all good. We love you, Joe. I got tears. <laughs> I'm fighting back. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> hey, thanks everybody for worrying about me being hurt. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. So um all of those are really good answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is my opinion and my opinion only. And I think that you will find that my opinion is spot on when I give it to you. And that is that people don't have, listen carefully, people don't have enough customers mm -hmm. or know how to go and get right. the customers. So they got nobody to talk to, right? So. Yeah their business is dead in the water because mm -hmm. they've run out of people to talk to because most people, Joe, and you know this, and you're, you're, you're fairly new to this industry and you yeah. can back me up on this one. Most mm -hmm. people, the first thing they'll tell you to do is go talk to your friends and your family and mm -hmm. all the people that you come in contact with. Am I right? That's right. Right. That is not right. Okay. But, you know, everybody. the way, <laughs> the way that we, the way that we teach, the way that we train, the way that we care about this industry, because we do, you know, let me, let me, let me pause to, to tell you guys something about something that I was on the phone a few minutes ago. A friend of mine I was on the phone with, she's also in our business. And she said to me, she said, you know, she said, um, you made a statement uh, a few weeks back. I said, what was that statement? She said, it really impacted me. I said, I will share. What did I say? Because I say a lot of stuff. So what did I say? She said, you said it's not about the money. You said right. it was about helping the people. And so, you know, I thought about that thing for a minute and I want to share this with you all. You know, I'm very fortunate. Mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate in the fact that I love cryptocurrency and I do cryptocurrency and I trade cryptocurrency and I learn about ICOs and all that other stuff. OK, mm -hmm. because I want to provide for my family. I want to leave a legacy, a trust behind for my son. OK, so I do that for my family. I do cryptogenics mm -hmm. because I love people and I love network marketing. I love it. I love it. OK, I absolutely love connecting with people, meeting people, helping people, connecting the dots for people. That's what I love to do. And so. Cryptogenics allows me to do that. It's all about training. It's all about helping other people succeed. So when I say I do cryptogenics and it's not about the money, honest to God, it's really about the helping of the people. Yeah. It really, really is. Now, at the end of the day, and I will, I will, I will finish that statement by saying this. At the end of the day, I do have residual bills like everyone else. Yeah. Okay. So I need residual income. But my residual income is not going to come from cryptogenics. Mm -hmm. It's going to come from the education mm -hmm. that cryptogenics has to offer. It's right. going to come from me applying all the things I've learned in the crypto space. Right. Right. So I have to do things to create that residual income with me. I am. Absolutely. And that's the thing that, okay, 
and this is the deal. Everybody, every person you sign up, you get a hundred bucks. Okay. It's real simple. Pretty simple. Then every three points you get, you know, your $25. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get my fingers to work. Yeah. You know, um, hmm. how, how do I say this? It, the education is what you really need. Don't look for the payday. Look for the education. You know, I've said this before on here, and I'm going to keep saying it till I'm blue in the face, you know, but the education is what is out there. That's, that's what you need to know. You know, yeah. don't, I'm like everybody. I want to make money on everything I touch. You know what I mean? That's just anything. You know what I mean? But right. making money is not, we're not selling, making money. We're selling education. You know what I mean? That's why we don't tell you, Hey, you can go make money. For one, it's illegal to tell you that, but also we wouldn't do that anyways. I mean, I can't speak for everybody. I don't mean Chris wouldn't. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, it's the education and it's the things that's going to lead you to. It's the whole part of the network is the network. Right. You know, people need to get that in their heads. It's the network. It's knowing all these people that know all these things that you don't know, but you can use you know, their knowledge, their experience, there's, you know, I didn't get take raked over the coals like everybody else did, you know, with those other companies, you know, that, you know, and some people are still getting raked over the coals and some people are still hoping it's going to work out. And I'm don't ever abandon hope, but if the life raft's got a hole in it and man, and, and, and you're you only about a mile from shore, you know I mean? you're only about a mile from shore, man, you need to go you better start swimming. swimming. Yeah. Cause it, don't don't just hope that a seagull is going to land on it and magically fix it or something. something. I don't know, you know, or, uh, or <laughs> I don't know, you know. Yeah. But, and I'm not I'm not being callous, and I'm not trying to I'm not making light of the situation in any way, shape, no, or form. No, you know, no. but move on. You know, go okay. Right. Wow, that was an expensive lesson to learn. You know what I mean? Right. You know, and just call it. Hey guys, there's there's really bad people out there. You know what I mean? If somebody coming up punching you in the mouth ain't near as bad as a guy taking your kid's college fund. You know Amen. I mean? You know what I mean? They come in big, bright smiles and nice suits and, and oh man, they're your best friend and they can't wait to go to church with you and all kinds of things. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> and, and they're just charlatans, you know, and, and it's sad. And we're fighting an uphill battle a little bit because we're not that, you know what I mean? Right. At all. Right. You know, it's like, oh, you guys are doing the same stuff. No, we're not. We're not doing anything like it. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to sell you a book that's online. That's it. It's an online, it's a textbook online. That's really all it is. You know what I mean? Right? But you know what? Support staff, you know? People have to, people have to find, people have to find something wrong with everything, which, yeah, which kind of leads me into the next thing I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. For all of you guys and gals out there, for all of y'all, and I just use oh, y'all yeah. as the plural word, but for all of y'all, that are following us and, and keeping up with us. We thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. We do it because of you. But at the end of the day, I want to set something straight. If you hear any hater out there hating on cryptogenic mm -hmm. and they're hating on cryptogenic because they said, oh, well, it's a scam because um, there was supposed to be a bot and there was supposed to be this and there was supposed to be that. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Let me first of all tell you something. Okay. Don't be at lunch now, yet. <laughs> you want to get me you want to get me fired up you start talking you start talking smack about something that i care about and yeah. you're gonna get me fired up okay because yeah. cryptogenics whether i'm the owner or just a franchisee it's my baby too okay mm -hmm. and i've been with this thing since it was an idea and i can speak from experience as to what has been told and what has been said when mm -hmm. where and how because i've been there OK, right. so let's address it. I don't believe in leaving elephants out there and people wondering. Let's just address it right here. This is being recorded. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's fact. It's truth. It is what it is. OK, so, yes, cryptogenics um, in the beginning in our in our very beginning, we had something called an NDA. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It stands for non disclosure agreement. OK, and. <clears throat> In the beginning, and I'm talking way back in the beginning, okay, um, we wouldn't even talk to somebody that had not formally signed and agreed 
to nine pages uh, was the first NDA was nine pages. We, we eventually did scale it down some, um, but we did talk about, we did talk about a bot. We did, we absolutely did. But we also said in the beginning that we were gonna be a legal company based out of the United States of America. We would be in compliance. We hired the best attorneys, okay? So I just wanna stress that these points that were in the NDA. So if you're out there talking about the bot that is not there yet, first, let me offer you this. We haven't launched yet. So you don't know what is there and what's not there, okay? And unless you're talking to the core people, the core five, or the pinnacles, or a founder in this company that is in direct communication with the pinnacles or the core five, you don't know what you're talking about. So I say to you, you shouldn't say things like that. Secondly, I will offer this. Um, we went through a pre-launch with zero hiccups, zero. OK, now we also said if if you want to say, you know, cryptogenics is a scam because they don't have the bot. All right. Well, additionally, you could say, well, cryptogenics is a scam because they don't have the test at the end of each lesson. Guess what? They're coming. <laughs> OK, so I lost it, I mean, guys. I, I, it's funny to me and Joe, because we're sitting here and we see the blood, the sweat, the tears every single day. We see people working around the clock. We see programmers working around the clock. We see 60 translators. You know, we've got 31 languages for the president. countries. Come on. You, I, didn't, I couldn't name 80 countries for a million dollars. I couldn't either. There's no I way. And, I mean, and I'm pretty smart. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, though, but I'm, I'm a pretty smart guy, really. Well, here's the <laughs> thing. Like, There's no way. Haters going to hate, okay? You know? Haters are going to hate. <clears throat> and people well, in general are the most impatient thing on the planet okay they have no patience and they want everything yesterday well i'm here to tell you and i speak for my position in the company as a pinnacle leader i do not want anything rolled out from the core five in cryptogenics that has not passed the signature right. of our attorneys and our advisor board well, yeah. so if there's no bot yet it's because yeah. it's not ready yet Okay. Well, and, and this is the other thing we need to address, I think, too. Um, this is a company. Yes. You and I get pretty fired up about this stuff because we have relationships with people in this company mm -hmm. you know, that we've known before the company. That, right. And we know the people. We know these. It's, it's not like, oh, so-and-so on Facebook. It's like, no, we had dinner together last week. Right. I mean, and, it, and it wasn't a business thing. You know what I'm saying? And so we do get kind of fired up because it makes us mad. You know, it's like you're messing with one of our friends, you know, right. what I mean? or family members you know, or something. Joe, you, you know, it's like, hey, I'll just, you, you know, you're calling them a liar. You're calling me a liar. And I'm getting ticked, you know, get a little mad. <laughs> just, you know, but that's where I have to take my step back, you know, like handing out the cards, you know, handing out the lucky cards. And so I go, oh, it's a scam. I'm like, mm. <laughs> You know, I was like, Here's the thing. Well, if it is, then then where's those stacks of money I'm making off this scam? <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, Doug, I just, hey, I don't know. have yeah. you ever gone to your bar and needed to order, put in an order for alcohol? Oh, yeah. And and yeah. snapped your fingers and it was there? Uh, no. no, no, that doesn't happen. There's a process. <laughs> Not at all. That, you got to right? put them. Yeah. Yeah. There's and a so process. <laughs> right. You know, there's a matter. process. You know, you, yeah, you have process. to order it. it yeah. A week later, you get room. everything. Like over oh, one week for the next week. For, yeah. Right. It has mm -hmm. to be paid for. It has to be yeah. delivered. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes something goes wrong and something doesn't get delivered. Mm -hmm. Or you forget to yeah. order something. Yeah, right? someone came in and drank you more know? of this than you normally sell. And then you're like, oh, okay. What do you do? So you know? I'm not, I don't want anybody to think that I'm angry because I'm not really angry. What I am is I'm disappointed in people and mm -hmm. the mentality of the people, the haters, because what it is, and I'm going to be brutally honest here, ladies and gentlemen, what it really boils down to is this, this one thing. Oh, Those damn. people that are um, out there spouting, well, mm -hmm. they're a scam because they didn't come out with the bot. They're a scam, whatever, blah, 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 blah. 
Okay, those are the very people that are looking for the next get rich quick Ponzi scheme, which we are not. And so, you know, the problem that they're seeing is they can't make a million dollars in six months. Well, guess what? You'll get over it. Okay, because here's the thing. Um, (laughs) Thanks, John. Thanks, John. (laughs) I think I I have friends all over the world because of this, not just cryptogenic, because of of multi-level marketing, network marketing, direct sales, whatever you want to call it. I have people all over the world. Right now in my team in cryptogenics, I have um, Switzerland, Ireland, London, Australia, India, Dubai. The United States, Canada, and I'm sure there's some that I missed. But Ghana. those are the ones off the top of my head. Ghana. You gotta understand. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You, you you don't have that big a team. You don't have that kind of a commitment from people all over the globe. You just don't. If it's something that's not going to happen, so yeah. I'm glad that you know. I kind of expected it week one or two when we you know came out the gate. Because there's a lot of haters out there. There's there's people out there that do not want to see any of us succeed. They do mm-hmm. not want to see cryptogenics help anybody. Because this is the reason why. This is the reason why. Because if we educate the masses, if we educate the world about cryptocurrency, mm-hmm. then they're on to those guys. They're mm-hmm. on to those ones that are trying to steal from your family. You're mm-hmm. on to those ones that are out there to take your, your children's college fund. Yeah. or your house from you because someone talked you into taking a mortgage out or yeah. you, you you hawked all of your credit cards until you can't get anything else on them. Listen, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. And those people that are spouting the hate, they're spouting it because we're not what they are. And they're scared that we're going to really educate the masses and then sure. their money will dry up. Yeah. So, you know, if anything, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Don't, so don't think I'm mad. I'm happy they're hating, okay? Because yeah. that just lets me know we doing it right. We done got the right attention. But what? seriously, about the bot, Joe, I want everybody to understand, you know, that that was actually something that was talked about before you came on in March. That, no, that was already cut off by then. I know. I know. Um, but I do want you to understand. Well, that's what I'm saying is because that, that's where I was talking. I was like, man, I, I heard of it, but right. I never heard of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, no and, one from the company. Oh, no, yeah. You know, and then I, you know, I, and I started reading stuff while I go, you know, and I was like, you're mentioning things that we don't even have. I mean, that's not even a part of this. You know? Right. And, and this is the other thing, man. Other companies are going to spur from this company. I mean, that's just right. That's the way to do it. You know, I mean, that's that's how business works. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, just because I have a bar doesn't mean I don't want my little hamburger shit to stand. Oh, that's one of my dreams in life. Just have like a little hot dog shop, hamburger stand. Day. Cool. Just simple, one. You know what I mean? No problems, you know? But, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Get you one, bro. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting for the girls to get old enough to work, kind of. Right. Because like, it's, do, it's partly Nixon's idea. You know what I mean? So I kind of wanted to do something when she gets a couple years older so she can kind of take part in it at some point. You know? That would be good, right? Yeah. You know, mother daughter will need a job, some sort. Teaching them the entrepreneurial spirit young. Oh, yeah. You know, just it'd be fun, you know. Um, but just because you have one thing doesn't mean other things aren't going to happen from it, you know. Well, I'm just going to spill the beans. And, and I can take my bar education, know. though, my business education from it and use it over there. You know what I mean? Well, it's I'm not like I'm just going to do beans, this. So, oh, and I'm just, gonna let, I'm just going to let it out of the bag. Okay. What are you going to say? Cryptogenics mm-hmm. has planned to mm-hmm. change the entire face of cryptocurrency. That yeah. cannot be done solely through education, although that is the first step. Right. And now I will tell you this, I will tell you this, the core leadership, the five owners did come to the pinnacles and they did ask our opinion, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. about the, the rhythm, the bot that they were talking about. Mm-hmm. And they said, do you guys, how do you guys feel? And this was the exact answer from almost every leader. We feel like we shouldn't offer something that will get people in trouble Mm -hmm. before they know how to use it. Let's make sure they have the education first. Mm -hmm. Let's make, so who, whose face is the egg on here? Yeah, Whose face is the egg on? 
Exactly. It's funny to me. It's funny. Well, it's, I don't know. There's so many ways all this stuff could be played out if they were doing it wrong. You know what I mean? Or if somebody, if the company was trying to get all our money, you know what I mean? KGX Pro, for instance, man, it's incredible. The it thing is. is incredible. No one's saying you have to get it. No one said you have to get it. No one said, hey, you have to buy this and buy this and buy this. And, you know, and that's the only way your business is going to work is if you buy this, buy this, but hey, this is working. So buy this or buy this or buy this. Buy this. <laughs> you know, but, you know, they do that. They don't, if that's what they're trying to do. No one's trying to get anybody's pocket, really. You know, it's, we're just trying to get people educated, you know? Hey, and, Joe. Hey, what? I don't tell you a story. Is it going to be one more thing? <laughs> no, one more that thing? That almost cartoony on mine. Does it on yours? I love that. <laughs> so, I want to tell you one more thing. But this is this is really important here. I've been in companies where they've had something similar. OK, <laughs> we're going to call it similar to KGX Pro, which is okay. basically for anybody that doesn't know what KGX Pro is. Um, it's a it's a lead management source. So it's a CMS. <laughs> OK, customer management service of <laughs> sorts. You've got email, you've got social media, you've got uh, leads and you've got contact and you. You can communicate with these people in all different kinds of ways. So, and it's in one location. Now, yeah. what I want to say about that is in, in companies past, and, you know, I have a long history in marketing. In companies past, um, you know, the, the company, the head company, okay, the, whatever company is sitting in, say, cryptogenic spot, okay, not cryptogenics. I don't want anybody to think that. Yeah. not cryptogenics, but the company that sits in their spot, okay, they would make 20 bucks off of this easy a month. Yeah. Right. I've seen it because this exact same service wouldn't be 29, okay? It would be 49.99 every month. It'd be $50, just under $50. Why? Because psychology tells us that people will pay for something under $50 without thinking about it at right. least for three or four months. And the company that creates it will give them a kickback for 20 bucks. Yeah. We're not doing that. Hey, Albert, Dijon. thanks for joining. So, you know, we're not doing that. Um. So, you know, what I, what I want you guys to understand is that cryptogenics is doing everything it possibly can to make the world a better place. And they're also helping create tools at a minimum price. Right. So that people can afford to use them and be as successful as possible. And with the education, you're going to be successful. There's no way not to be. Right. So, um, Joe, are there any other updates we need to give on cryptogenics today? I know we got long-winded yeah, uh, on the oh, wow, really did. damn I'm thing. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's, um, there's, let's see. Uh, 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 the rigs the are the raise. Hey, we're talking about raises, so we should talk about the raise real quick. Remember, um, All right. um, oh man, come on. Yeah, give me, it's $25 for- $25. I forgot now. Give yourself uh, a raise. Yeah, give yourself a raise. Oh, yeah, that's it. Um, the top five producers in a week get a $25 raise. Is it 25 per- Per person, person they put per in. Per person you bring in over three. Yep. It has to be over three. So, yep. Yeah, everybody you bring in over three, $25 a piece per person. For and that's the top five. So you could be first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. Absolutely. Right. And that's gonna be every single week. Sorry, it's been a couple of days, guys. I've heard, yeah. That's gonna be uh, every single week, which is cool. You know, you did really good considering that you're medicated and it's been a few days. Time kind of flew by on me. Hey, oh, and miners. We have miners too, by the way. You can buy them. We have the miners. 3750. Mm -hmm. 3750. Put them in Utah. 3750. I'm just gonna give my opinion here. Well, give me your opinion, thing. Joe. Tell Don't me put them in your house. <laughs> you, it's not going to work. It, it does. It won't work appropriately. And then you're going to be complaining and you're mad about it. And it's going to end up costing you more. Like you're going to have to like seriously do some real, real serious upgrades to internet. If you can even get that quality of internet in that area. You know what right. I mean? It's right. It, it, and if you're not set up for stuff, well, what, I'm kind of talking to the people that are new on here too. Not yeah, so much, I know. you know, you know, not, not the people that already have stuff set up and know what they're doing. It's for everybody, know. all the new people, you know, right. Um, that this is the first time they even heard they could buy one, you know, mm -hmm. um, 
Congratulations, <laughs> Albert. In the chain, you know, or in the line. Lane. I don't want to confuse anybody, you know, um, with where they were designed to be. They're, they're kind of purposely designed to be set up in one way, in one system, operating off one, you know, 13 to 1400 watts. I mean, you know, um, but 13, 40, yeah, putting out 12 to 14. Yeah. And then it's, they need to be where they need to be, you know, to get the most out of, it, you know, now you can do anything you want, but right. You know, they're I, yours. You buy it, you pay with, for it. Unless you're a computer, unless you know a lot about hardware, actual computer hardware, not software. You know what I mean? There's not a windows program. that's going to fix something. If something actually fries or breaks, you got to really get in there with screwdrivers and stuff and little bitty magnets and, not magnets, but you know, magnifying glasses and stuff. The chips in that thing. Yeah, you know. So that's just what I'm gonna say. That's just my opinion, though. That's just my opinion. I just don't want to see anybody make a mistake, and you know. So let's let's like try this up in they, a nice, neat little bow. Let's yeah. let's put a nice, neat little bow on this. What Joe's really trying to say, I'm Sorry. helping him out, you know, because he's my buddy, <laughs> yeah. and he's medicated. So y'all cut him a break. He he means well. What he's trying to say is this. If this is your first mining experience, right. Right. it is For probably sure. best. It is probably best that you allow the machine to be housed where it was intended for it to be housed. Mm -hmm. It will use less power. It will mm -hmm. produce better. Mm -hmm. It will be looked after and kept at a certain temperature. Mm -hmm. All of these things are critical. All of right. these things are very important. Yeah. So, you know, unless you're not unless you're an expert let's mm. just put it out there unless you're an expert yeah. in mining i wouldn't recommend it joe wouldn't recommend it i don't even really think cryptogenics would recommend it but we'll find out tonight um i'll put on control for saying that guys I, I just don't want i want everybody to get the most use out of get the best, most for their well, I know. and we albert's all want that here. you know what i mean but yeah. albert's on here and he's yeah. he's bought his he's bought his mines yeah. and i know he he's, he's got mines. multiple you know he bought multiple mines I don't think that it's nowhere near his plan. And he's he's a very uh I would I would go out on a limb to call Albert an expert in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. Um I yeah. don't think he has any anticipation of taking his home, right. you know, um, because they are they are what they are. Okay. Right. And 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 like we said earlier, it's US based and mm -hmm. hello, it is also uh green mining, right? So I'd show you my knee brace. It's actually a green knee brace. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, no, not the you color. You got a green it's, knee brace? No, no, it's recycled materials. Sweet. Like, like the company makes a, a green version, like a recycled, you know what I mean? It, it is green. I understand. So I my understand. knee brace doesn't have much of a carbon footprint. Nice. Because I'm on crutches. Ha! <laughs> Threw that in there. <laughs> like that. You ain't got a lick of sense. Oh, no, right. If I did, I'd put it in a slot machine, probably to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened, man. I dropped, I dropped my, that one lick of sense I had left and had to go. That's what it was. You reached it. down to pick it up. And yeah, it yeah. <laughs> hey, Slid off kids, the mountain. Don't twirl your keys. It's a bad idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we love you guys. Love you guys. It's Sorry been to run a so late. fantastic day. Um, mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing you guys. Joe, um, I know I'm planning to, to hop on tomorrow at 2. Are you going to join me hey. tomorrow at 2? All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow around two o'clock. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, do do this, okay? We we talk, we kid, we pick, we poke, we have fun, but do this, okay? Seriously, do what you feel is right in here, okay? If it's right for you, don't worry about what everybody else says. Right. Just do what what's right in here for right. you and your family. That's all that matters, all that matters. And the reason that I say that is because there are a lot of people out there that have been watching us, Joe, and I've been getting some messages and they say, you know, you encourage us, you and Joe encourage me, or you have encouraged us to come outside of our shell, to do, to do the things that, you know, we wanted to do. We just didn't cool. have the courage to do. That's awesome. You know, well, thank you. That Whoever is, that is, that man, is we'll the just highest you. compliment we can get. Yeah, man. Right? That's great. I mean, that really, um, you know, and 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 again, we're not financial advisors, and we're not telling anybody to do anything. Bye, Kathy. <laughs> we're just encouraging you to be your best self. Exactly. Be your best self. Yes. Be better than you were yesterday. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. be better than you are today. That's all we're telling you. Okay. Yep. 
So we love you guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. We will have more information about those miners tomorrow because we'll be on the call tonight. Yep. Yeah, we'll give everybody love you guys. can't make it, but try to make it. Yay. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. KGXglobal.club, 9 o'clock. KGXglobal.club. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Have Bye, a guys. Great love you all.